All right, here's two eggs here that have baby chickens in them, little chicks trying to get out. You can see that one moving around pretty good. We'll see the egg flopping up and down. And uh, what happened was I guess the egg was cracked wrong, you know, like long ways. And it should have been around in a circle. And so what you have is these babies are having a hard time, a difficult time getting out. And in the backyard, because of the extreme heat, it's like 105 today or something, that is turning into like leather, where that little transparent skin is under there. It's getting like leather. It needs to be a lot more moist than that. Uh, her nest is pretty jacked up in the back, and Peck has been sitting on these eggs, not these eggs, but she's been setting for seven and a half weeks. Her first clutch of eggs... Uh, six dead. What's that, Linda? Six dead. Six dead. Fully developed. So six reached, you know, maturity, hatched, and they got killed, they died, somehow they didn't make it. So, she was still really broody with these dead babies under her, so we put eight more under her. Now, seven and a half weeks later, this is her second clutch, and uh, you show that? in here, two of them, this is pretty gross, I know, sorry guys, two of them made it to full maturity and they got killed again. We don't know what's going on, if Peck is the one doing it or not, but that one's missing a head. And uh, the other one is full. It doesn't look like a full chicken there, but it is. And uh, so I'll go ahead and move that one down. So what you got is out of the eight she eggs she has now, two are dead. They made it to maturity, made it almost out of the egg, died. And these two right here are breaking out of the egg. One's completely missing. Uh, so that leaves her with three more back there. So she's sitting on three. If they start breaking through, we'll probably take those from her as well. Because either she's killing them or something's going on right at the last stage. Well, it's and missing a head. we got to blame her. Yeah. <laughs> you exactly. know, I, we got to blame her. And uh, so these last two, we're just going to keep them moist. It's about 105 degrees here in Central California. And uh, I believe it's probably warm enough out here for them to hatch on their own. But we're just trying to keep these stupid flies off them. Can you get that one? There you go. And uh, we're just going to keep them moist out here and uh, hopefully they'll hatch in the next couple hours. I have a question real quick. Does anyone know of a mother hen eating the babies as they come out the eggs? Has anyone ever heard of that? I've never heard of that. So, yeah, let us know if uh, this is normal for a, uh, a first, hen just to kill her babies. It, she is a first-time setter, her first-time broody, so maybe she's just dumb. Yeah, don't know, but hopefully these two will make it through. And then when the other three in the back start cracking out, which should be tonight, tomorrow at the latest. We're going to be grabbing uh, them up too. We're going to be grabbing them up too. And then the next question is, once they do hatch and we get them out of the egg, do we put the chicks back under her? Scary. Or do we just keep them separated? Or do we leave them with little E because she's proven to be a really good mom?